Aloha, welcome. This is Pastor Keith coming to you from uh, the campus of Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town in Oahu in Hawaii. And welcome to Morning Prayer for Wednesday, May 11th, 2022. This is a reading from Jeremiah, the weeping prophet, from the 50th chapter, which is toward the end of his prophecies, which up until this time have been pretty dismal and harsh for Israel, the northern kingdom, and Judah, the southern kingdom of the people of God. And so here he promises uh, judgment against those who destroyed the two kingdoms and their restoration and their forgiveness. A restoration and a forgiveness that we, when we feel punished, judged, that the wrath and the law of God are heavy upon us, we too can know forgiveness and restoration. From Jeremiah 50. Israel is a hunted sheep driven away by lions. First, the king of Assyria devoured it. And now at the end, King Nebuchadrezzar of Babylon has gnawed its bones. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, I am going to punish the king of Babylon and his land as I punished the king of Assyria. I will restore Israel to its pasture and it shall feed on Carmel and in Bashan and on the hills of Ephraim and in Gilead, its hunger shall be satisfied. In those days and at that time, says the Lord, the iniquity of Israel shall be shot, sought and there shall be none. And the sins of Judah and none shall be found, for I will pardon the remnant that I have spared. I will pardon the remnant that I have spared. I had an Old Testament professor in seminary who liked to say, how do you get to a remnant? Doesn't sound so much good news as good news after harsh news. Good news, a remnant will survive. We will be restored and forgiven. Maybe it would be good for us to pray the prayer of confession that we often use on Sunday mornings and the blessing, let it be the announcement of God's forgiveness and restoration. E pule kako, let us pray. Merciful God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. In the mercy of Almighty God, Jesus Christ was given to die for us, and for his sake, God forgives us all our sins. As a called and ordained minister of the Church of Christ, and by his authority, I therefore declare to you and to me the entire forgiveness of all your sins, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace into this day, knowing that God is with you, and that you are safe. Amen.